If you're on a compound medicine, this is the video for you. A story broke this week that Novo Nordisk is suing two pharmacies. You may have heard this story, but this is the part of the story that you haven't heard yet. And I think it's really important for people to consider all sides of this. So Novo Nordisk dropped a lawsuit against two compounding pharmacies in Florida, Wells Pharmacy and Brooksville Pharmacy. I want to say that even the Brooksville Pharmacy was maybe named in an earlier lawsuit, which was dropped. Again, these peptides are very hard to protect patent wise. The trademarks are usually what they go after the brand names. But I digress. Let's get to the heart of this because the real news story out here was that Novo Nordisk had found that in one of these compound medicines that it was up to 33% impure. And I want to unpack what that actually means. Does it mean that these versions of the compound medicine was actually unsafe or tainted or contaminated with something? If you look a little bit deeper into this issue here, Novo Nordisk uh, found in testing some of this semaglutide that uh, some of the products from Wells Pharmacy contained a substance called BPC-157. Now, BPC-157, it falls into the category of one of those peptides that the FDA came after just a few weeks ago. Body Protection Compound 157. That's what BPC-157 stands for. And it's typically used, though there's no you know, major studies that have been done to back this up, that it helps with tissue repair. Now, compounds by nature, they're not just a, a generic version of brand name drugs. And especially in the case of terzepatide and semaglutide, what they are are the active ingredient mixed with something else. Most often with these compounds, you've seen them mixed with B12 or, or a, some sort of vitamin that, you know, they compound it with. That's what compound means. It means to combine things. So it's not altogether inconceivable that the way these articles were written to make it sound 33% impure was that this compound was simply mixed with BPC-157 and that was the impurity. So the question really becomes from a safety standpoint was, were the consumers aware that the compound had BPC-157? And did they actually find contaminants or are they just spinning this from a marketing and PR standpoint as an impurity that was actually well documented with its patients that they were getting a mixture of semaglutide and BPC-157? Listen, I am pretty agnostic when it comes to compound medications. I understand that there are major shortages uh, and law, a lot of that falls on the shoulders of the manufacturing with semaglutide specifically with Novo Nordisk. And I definitely don't want you to walk away from this video thinking that there's absolutely no risk with them. But that's why it's so important that if you're going to go that route, you need to make sure that you talk to your doctor. You need to make sure your prescription comes from the, your doctor. You need to make sure that you and your doctor have vetted the compound pharmacy that it's come from and you're aware that a compound is a compound. It's typically not just the active ingredient in these name brand drugs, it's that plus something else. And you need to be aware of that. Compound pharmacies are governed by their state board of pharmacy. So you can check with your state board of pharmacy in your state or wherever the compound pharmacy is and you can see what their track record is of cleanliness of products, uh, FDA reports, things like that. And you want to, you wanna make sure that you're finding really, really, really uh, good information about where your medications are come from before you put anything in your body. If you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it, liking it, and follow my channel for more information.